Did Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti flunk geography while he attended elementary school? It seems Garcetti does not realize he is just the mayor of Los Angeles and not Carson nor Englewood, which are separate entities in the Los Angeles market. On the Dan Patrick Show, Garcetti made a head-shaking statement about the market picking up two National Football League teams through relocation. We embrace any team that comes, Garcetti said. We're certainly happy to have the Chargers in L.A., but I think we could have been happy with just the Rams. Here's the problem with the statement from both the city of Los Angeles and Garcetti's viewpoint. The city of Los Angeles is getting nothing from having the Spanos family Chargers in the market. The Spanos family team will never play a game in L.A. as games are played in Carson and training camp was in Costa Mesa. Stan Kroenke's Rams are passing through Los Angeles playing four seasons at the Coliseum before settling in in Inglewood in 2020. Kroenke's Rams are not training in L.A. either, so Garcetti in L.A. will get no money from the two NFL teams after 2019. In fact, Garcetti is losing an L.A.-based business, the NFL Network, which will move from L.A. to Englewood once Kroenke's building is up and going. What L.A. will get is perhaps some people renting a few hotel rooms for games and car exhaust from people driving through L.A. into Englewood. Garcetti pushed for L.A. to host the Olympics, but L.A. might not have the opening ceremonies in 2028 because Kroenke Stadium will be state-of-the-art and the Coliseum will be around a century old. Garcetti is also facing the prospect of losing the L.A.-based Clippers to Englewood, which is a separate entity. Los Angeles is a big market, but Garcetti is just L.A.'s mayor. That's all. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.